Welcome back to From Simmer to Sizzle. I'm Nikki. And I'm Jacob. And today we're not making a meal, we're making two fancy desserts. We're going to be making creme brulee and banana foster. Yep. And yeah. obviously we have to have a drink to go with, so what are we going to have? So we're going to make a, uh, my version of an Aperol spritz and we're going to make a fancy mocktail yes. for you. Yes. Yeah. has to be <laughs> So uh, first things first, we're going to get started with the creme brulee because it takes a little longer to get set. Anyway. <clears throat> yes, yeah, so we're going to start with our creme brulee. Uh, creme brulee is kind of, it's like a really fancy dessert you would think. You know, it's like what you get at a fancy restaurant after a $40 steak. But a fancy steak. Yeah. Not just a $40 steak. Well, you know. <laughs> Like a like filet mignon kind of thing. Yeah. Um, but it's actually really really easy to make. It just takes some time, and uh, so we're gonna get started on it. Um, for this, we're going to need one quart of heavy cream. That's the big one. Yeah. So we're gonna need one quart of heavy whipping cream. What else? Uh, one vanilla bean. That's in that little ramekin there. We're just going to take that, split it, and scrape out some of the. Uh, little vanilla pods inside. That's where all the flavor comes from. Uh, we've got half a cup of sugar over there. And we're going to need that. There's six eggs right there. We're going to separate these because uh, we need the yolks. And then the vanilla extract. We just need a little bit of that. And that's everything we need, right? Yeah, that's everything we need for right now. Um, so we're actually just going to get started separating those Egg yolks. Do you remember how to do that? Yes. If I make, I'm gonna make a mess. That's fine. <laughs> Split it. Okay. Perfect. Now just dump the yolk in there. Oh, we're saving the yolk too. Yeah, we just need to separate them. Oh, we, okay. need, we need the yolks for the creme brulee. But we are going to use the white, or at least some of it, for the drink. Uh oh. That's fine. I, I so was going to What I can do this. is just put it in my fingers and let the rest of the white run off. So now we've got our yolks separated, we're going to add sugar, and I need to find our whisk. Alright. This one here? Yep. Go ahead and dump it all in there, and then whisk it together. It won't take long to get it nice and combined. Where'd the whites go? Oh. Yeah, they're just over there. That was quick. Yeah. Yeah, that's fine. Now we basically just have to uh, wait until the rest of it's done. Um, so before we do anything else, we're going to put the quart of heavy cream into a like a medium pot with the vanilla bean. We're going to scrape out some of the pods and let that come to a boil. Let it sit for 15 minutes. Once that's done, we mix it into here and we pour it into our ramekins for the creme brulee. So we're going to move over to the stove and get that started. Alright, so now we've got our yolks and sugar mixed together. We're going to get our vanilla bean sliced and scraped, and then get our cream going. Okay, what do I do? Alright, so take the knife and just run it down the length of the vanilla bean. Because we've got to split it open. Mm -hmm. But he already is. Shut up. He says shut up! Okay, so now what we do kind of just peel the sides open. I've never seen a vanilla bean before. Yeah. Most, most of the time you just use vanilla extract, like concentrated vanilla. Right. Then we're going to take the knife and just kind of scrape down the side of it. Like this? Scrape the other way. No, no, no. Hold the knife like that and scrape that way because you want to get all those pods out. If you want to turn it, 
<laughs> this isn't doing anything. Yeah, put put some pressure down. Can't do it. No, you got it. See, it's all on the Oh, plate. I did. Yeah. Oh yeah. See. That's gross. Yeah, a little bit. That's not fancy. Well, I mean, given the cost of a vanilla bean, it actually is pretty fancy. Okay, it's very fancy. It's pretty good. You know, we got quite a bit of help. So, what we're gonna do is we got our quart of heavy cream right there. We're going to just plop that in there, along with all of those vanilla bean pods. And then we're going to set that on medium, let that come to a boil, stir it occasionally. Okay, and while this is going, I'm going to go ahead and get the oven preheated. So we want it at 325. Alright, so our cream is boiling. It takes a little while, but we're, we're getting there. Um, so, real quick, we're going to add just a dash of vanilla extract to our uh, yolk mixture. Just a little bit. Oh, stir that in for me. Okay, so now that we're at a boil, and it's trying to heat off, take it off like heat, cover it, and uh, unfortunately it has to sit for so our uh, cream is boiled, it's been sitting for a few minutes, so now we're going to mix this into our egg mixture, and then pour it into our ramekins. So, do you want to whisk that while I pour this in? Yeah. Alright. Our vanilla bean's still in here Can somewhere. Can I sit it here so, or no? Uh, let's are kind of expensive, um, you know, considering it's just the one bean. But you can get more than one use out of it. Um, oftentimes when I make creme brulee, I uh, use the bean again to make some uh, vanilla syrup. So I just throw it in a pot with like some water and sugar. Uh, but yeah, you, we are, you know, this is the second use of this vanilla bean, but we're going to toss it after this. Well, we gotta mix it in slowly. So we just do a little bit at a time. Good enough? Yep, I think so. Yeah, so now we're going to take our yeah, that's perfect. Yeah, we're going to take our ladle, fill it up with this uh, cream mixture and then pour it into our ramekins. We're going to pour it most of the way full. It doesn't have to be perfect. They don't have to be exactly even, but as close as we can get. Okay, so we're putting the water in our uh, pan with the ramekins. We've got to get it about halfway up, so we've got most of it in there. We're just going to top it off a little bit. Be careful. All right, I think that's good. Now we're going to get this in there carefully into the oven. This one, I don't remember what this one was called. 
fresh apple and elderflower. Fancy Montana. Yeah, but like, whatever. It's apple and elderflower, essentially. That's a too long name. It's called Fancy Mocktail. Okay, so um, we need, go ahead and grab the cutting board because we need to chop up that apple and the lime. All right. Uh, do you want to do this while I get the other stuff going for your drink? Do you know how to do this? You need no. to cut a wedge. You need to tell me what to do again. Okay. This way? So cut it in half. Either way works, really. Well, I want to cut. Gotta put some pressure on it. Just be careful. Watch your fingers. There you go. All right. Now cut it in half again. Mm -hmm. Okay. Then. Hmm? Then what? Well, so this is, I mean, this is a lime wedge right here, or we can cut it in half a little smaller. Oh, okay, yeah. It's just a little difficult. Watch yeah. your fingers. Oh my gosh. Any day now. Need some help? No. I got it. Okay. It works, it works, it's a wedge. Yeah. I can't do it. <laughs> Good enough. It works. That is a wedge. Mm hmm Now, do you know how to slice an apple? Yes. Okay. No. Just tell me what to do. <laughs> Chop it down the middle. Even with the cord? You can take the stem out. Yeah, that's what I was going to do. I don't want to get yelled at. This knife is too small. Do you want a bigger one? No. Oh! Okay. <laughs> Do you want a bigger knife? Do you think I should get a bigger knife? <laughs> yeah, probably. So we're slicing the apple. Mm -hmm. I'm doing it because I know how to. Jacob forgot. So go down the middle. Mm -hmm. And then you go. What's next? How you just need a thin slice yeah, for your you drink. Just need However, a slice. you want to cut it. Oh, it's just, just a, a thin yeah. slice for your drink. Watch, Watch your, your fingers. fingers. There you go. That's how you cut an apple. That, yeah, that's good enough. That's really all we need because mm -hmm. it's just a garnish. Mm -hmm. I want two. Okay, take the okay. knife away from her. <laughs> <laughs> take the knife away from her. This one's for me to eat. Okay. <laughs> So now let's actually make your drink. I'll move this stuff off to the side. All right. So for your I drink, for, for your drink, uh, hand me the mixer, mixing glass. Right. Oh, I get to use the shaker this time. Mm -hmm. All right. We need the uh, elderflower syrup. That's the clear bot. Yep, right there. Uh, we found this at IKEA of all places. Um, but it's just a simple syrup made with elderflower. Uh, can you hand me that measuring thing? Yeah. Okay, and then we also need the little bottle of apple juice right there. Apple yep. juice. Alright, do you want to just make the drink while I tell you what's in it, or do you want... Yeah, but I don't know how to measure on here. Oh, it says one ounce, yeah, half the top, ounce. Yeah, the top of it is one ounce. That's half, that's four. Mm -hmm. That one? Okay. Alright, so we're going to start with our elderflower syrup. It's a really simple drink. It's basically just elderflower and apple juice. Okay. You're going to want one ounce of syrup. Okay. It's like sparkle. Get out of here! There's a bug. Okay, so that was... She sees dead people. Yeah. I do. Alright, so that was one ounce of our syrup. Then we need three ounces of apple juice. Okay. Is it hard? <laughs> Make a mess. Oh no. Just tip it quickly. Not on a straw. Oh wait. 
Okay, good. That's good. Alright. Uh, we're going to use our egg whites from earlier. And we want just one tablespoon worth. Egg whites are difficult to scoop sometimes because <laughs> they're all individual. Alright. Good enough. I don't care. I do! Yeah, all it, all it does is make the foam on top. Oh. They say they care. Would you like a little bit more in there? No. It's not quite a full tablespoon. Yeah, I do. Okay. <laughs> okay. <laughs> now that's a tablespoon. Yeah, there. Now you'll have lots of foam. Now on I'm top. happy. Can I have a napkin or something? Like yeah. Really quick. Okay, do you want to try shaking it? Yeah. Okay, so what we're doing now is we're shaking it without ice. This is called a reverse dry shake. You got to shake it without ice first, then add ice and shake it again. So you want to give it a good shake for about 30 seconds. Okay. How <laughs> do you do it? <laughs> like this? Here. So you'll want to hold it one hand there, one hand on the top. Okay. And shake it. Oh, okay. Like that. Yeah. Has been 30 seconds. <laughs> I feel like the top's gonna fall off. That's why you have one finger on it. Okay. It's not gonna go anywhere. All you're doing right now is you're making the foam. Because oh, okay. by shaking the egg white, you're gonna make that frothiness. Then we add the ice to actually chill it. Okay. I can't flip this one. No, not yet. All right. That wasn't quite 30 seconds, but. <laughs> Good. Yep, that's There's a little bit cool. of foam on there, so now I'm going to add ice. Yeah, I'm going to put a little bit of ice in it. Not too much. Just a couple ice cubes. And we're going to shake it again. Do you want to shake it? Yeah. Alright. Good enough? A little bit more. Okay. okay. Flip okay. it. You want me to flip it? Yeah. He rolled his eyes. Did you see that? We have it on tape. Oh! All right. It's your fault for showing me it. No, you just gotta pour it into there. Nice good strain. The that looks good. The only thing left in there is probably just a little bit of extra foam, but okay. we don't need that. And then tonic water. Yeah, we're gonna top it with some tonic water. This is fancy water. Yeah, kinda. Oh, it. Yeah, it's, it's carbonated. So we just want to top that off a little bit. And cinnamon. We're going to throw some cinnamon on the top. Not too much. However much you want. Okay, that's good. Yeah. And then we're just going to throw a little sprig of mint in there. And that's your drink. No, I need the apple. Right, the other garnishes. We do need the apple. And this drink... The reason we cut the lime wedge is so that you can like rub it, so that you can rub it on the. Oh, that's the lime wedge. Yeah, okay. This is a bad lime wedge. We're just. It won't stay. There. Just drop it in there. Yeah, just drop, drop it. it in there. And stir it up. No, I don't need to stir. Mmm, <gasps> that's actually really good. <laughs> now, time to make your drink. All right. So I found shimmer. And I was like, why don't I have any of this shimmer in my drink, boy? So we're going to put some shimmer in my drink. Just like this. No, 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 no. Yeah. Use the stirring rod. And just get a little bit. Okay. If you really want it, we can put it in there, but... I do. Okay. It sparkles. So what we're gonna I think do... you need to take start over because you clamp right in the middle of her presentation. I'm... It'll be fine. He doesn't want it in there. So we just want to take a little bit. Ooh. See, we've got all this stuff on it. We've got the foam on top. It's okay. It's still going to be in there. It's pretty. Barely. It's shimmer. Okay. He tried to hide it from me. I saw it. I didn't it. try to hide it from you. We just weren't... I wasn't planning on using it for your drink because it won't show up. It doesn't have to show up. It's just... It's there. That's all that matters. You can see it a very little bit. It'll show up better in my drink. Here. Look at the actual liquid. Like, Look from the angle of the light. 
Yeah. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Purdy. Now I'm happy. Anyway. Moving on. We're going to make my drink. Um, this is my version of an Aperol spritz. Um, normally, that's just basically uh, Aperol and Prosecco. Um, but I'm changing it up a little bit. So we're going to use... Here, start handing me some bottles. We're going to use the Aperol. That's the tall one back there. Oh, it's red. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so Aperol is slightly bitter. Uh, is that alcohol? Uh-huh. I'm going to use one and a half ounces of Aperol. And then some of that sweet and sour mix. That's the big one. Lemonade. Mm-hmm. I'm going to use one and a half ounces of this. Mm -hmm. Okay. And then the gin. That's the little purple bottle. Yeah, that one. So this is Hendrix Midsummer. You can use any gin you like, but I have this one, and this one's uh, citrus forward. So I'm going to use that just to see how it is. Really any gin will work here, but we want one ounce. And then we want that simple syrup. You can make your own simple syrup. Yes, you can. I make a lot of simple syrups. How do you make it? It's just equal parts of water and sugar until it's a... Uh... Fries are done! <laughs> anyway. <laughs> Half an ounce of simple syrup. It, then we shake it up. Use a little bit, okay? No. Oh my god. <laughs> it's gonna be sparkly. Okay. You got it all over your nail. I know, that was a point. That was on accident, actually. There you go. Right. Shimmer. I don't think you put enough in there. Okay, more. Yeah, you can see Ooh, it. Ooh, you can really see it. Right. Let me put a light under it and we'll get a close up. Wow. Mine's not that sparkly. Ready. Can you see that? Right. Yeah, that's good. Good? Yeah, very uh, citrus heavy. Which will be good with the, um, the desserts that we're making because they're very sweet. I kind of want to try it. <laughs> Is you it can. strong? No, it's not very strong. That's good. <laughs> no more. <laughs> All right, let's cut. Cut. All right. So have you ever made this before? No. <laughs> oh, okay. So we're gonna make bananas foster now. Um, first things first, I need to walk through the ingredients. So we've got two bananas. Can you obviously. see them? Yes, you can. Um, we've got over there. Yeah, Whips. we've got some more heavy whipping cream. We're going to use half a cup of that. Uh, we've got... Alcohol. Yeah, some dark rum. We're going to use half a cup of that. We've got... Brown sugar. Yeah, one cup packed brown sugar. And we have pecans. They're not pecans. Yeah, so don't but say we do need to chop those up real quick. Okay. So get those out. All right. Do you want to chop them for me? Just rough chop. They don't have to be any kind of uniform. 
I thought you were going to do this. I don't know. Oh, Let's see. Show's no fun if I do everything. Oh, this is easy. Yeah. You want me to show you a slightly better way to do it? Mm -hmm. Slightly quicker way, please. So you want to make sure the knife never fully leaves the board. And you just go up and down and back and forth. No, well, that's a lot quicker. Do you want to try it? No. Okay. All right. So that's our half cup of chopped pecans. In our skillet here, I'm going to... I put half of them there. Huh? No, 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 not yet. Oh. I'm going to toss one stick of salted butter. Let that melt. That'll take a minute. Whipping now, cream? Yeah, we need to pour some whipping cream into here. Not quite ready yet to add it, but we do need to measure it. Have you ever had this before? I think I have. Oh. Um, probably at a restaurant, though. Oh. I've never heard of it. Okay, we do have to chop the bananas. Which do you want to chop these up, or should I? It's up to you. You chop that one, I'll chop the other one. Okay. To stir this or add the stuff? Add. Okay. Here's our brown sugar. If you need a spoon to get that out, it's right in front of you. Yeah. Alright, perfect. Okay. Okay. Here, stir that for me and can you get another measuring cup? We just want to let this cook for a minute or two until it's nice and combined. Well stirred in. Is it well stirred? Let me see. I think we're probably good. Okay. So we're going to add the cream. We got half a cup of heavy cream. Yeah, there we go. Sizzle! Yeah. Turn the heat down just a little bit. Let this combine, and then we're going to add these bananas. Okay. Give me just a second. Okay. Let me make sure this is all stirred in. As you can see, our cream is still pretty separate from the, uh, the butter and sugar mixture we got. Alright, go ahead and start adding. Then when you're ready, go ahead and add the uh, nuts. Oh! <laughs> Without making a mess, crumbs on the floor. Now this is the fun part. I don't know if this will even work. Why? Because I don't know if this will ignite. <laughs> the oh, way, this yeah. is going to go on fire. Yeah, the way that bananas foster, oh, no, we're going to need good. half a cup of dark rum. Right on the All right. side. Stand back. There it is. Well, burn for just a second. Yeah. Fun's over. That helps cook the alcohol off. Looks cool, but it'll burn itself out in just a second, so. It is still pretty loose. I would expect it to be a little bit thicker, but. Yeah, so I'm just gonna reduce the heat a little bit. We're just gonna let this sit until it thickens up. Yeah. Ooh, ice cream. Yeah, this is served over ice cream. Mm. So, it's pretty good. So we got everything done. We got our, uh, well, okay, technically done. Our um, creme brulee 
has to go in the oven for 45 minutes in a water bath, but then after you take it out, you gotta put it in the fridge for at least two hours to let it set. So. We don't have time for that. So we made some yesterday. <laughs> Actually heated. I wasn't yeah, here for that. Yeah, so we got some creme brulee that's already done. We're just gonna throw some sugar on it and then torch it, because that's the fancy part of the creme brulee. Yeah. And uh, we got our bananas foster done and our drinks done, so. Lots of sugar. Mm -hmm. Try and spread this evenly as possible. You just want a nice thin little layer of sugar. You don't want too much sugar because then the top of it will caramelize, but then there will still be raw sugar underneath it. I'll do this part. And I was about to ask if you wanted to try it. Okay. Here. No, no, I don't want to do it. Okay. You're just going to take it. Press that button. You kind of need to get some started. So you gotta press this button down and then you gotta push that latch down with both hands. So use one hand oh, to push the I latch see. down and the other push the button. And then... <laughs> I'm gonna set something on fire. <laughs> I'll just start it up. Push the latch first, press the button, okay. and then just switch on the side. You want to get some darker patches, but you don't want to let the flame sit in one area for too long because then the sugar gets kind of bitter. Okay, I think this is good. I think. Do you want to get the bananas foster on yes. too? Yeah. So just spoon a little bit of our bananas foster onto the vanilla ice cream. That's a lot. <laughs> I've never tried this before. I've never made it before. It's, okay. Usually, I think it's supposed to be a little thicker. A little more syrupy, mm -hmm. but it doesn't matter too much. You know, we're serving it over ice cream. I'm not concerned. It's ice cream. Yeah. It's vanilla bean ice cream. There we go. That's good. <laughs> yeah, it's good. It tastes like milk. Like caramel, kind of, you know, where it's got a little bit of the saltiness in it. Um, and it's still warm, balanced out with like the, the cold ice cream. And the bananas are just great, mm -hmm. very soft. This is the fun part of the video. Yeah, where we just get to eat everything. The intro, you know, it's fun, but it's kind of nerve wracking. But the part where you have to eat the food, that's the part. This is good. It tastes kind of like pudding. Mm -hmm. It's like a thin pudding. It's really good. And you can mix all kinds of stuff in with it. You can put like fresh fruit on it. You can add, I think I've seen a recipe for chocolate creme brulee. Mm -hmm. But that would be good. Yeah. And it's got sugar on it. Mm -hmm. Like that. Decoration. Right. I think I got both recipes from uh, Food Network. I think originally, I, yeah, I think this is uh, Alton Brown's recipe for the creme brulee. I don't remember because I just memorized it when I first started making it. But yeah, I'm pretty sure both of these recipes are from Food Network. I can put them in the description. Do you want to? Yeah. Cheers. This drink is great. Don't forget. No, wait. Yeah, well, I mean, that's our show. And don't forget to like, comment, and share. And if you have any video ideas for us, leave them in the comments below. All right, thanks for watching. Join us next time. Bye. Bye.